It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the second annual conference of the International Consortium on Newborn Sequencing. We are at the Royal Institution in London, England, on the very stage graced by notable names such as Michael Faraday, Charles Darwin, Carl Sagan, and Nick Encina. <laughs> my name is Nick Encina, and I will be your humble host over the next two days. I come to you from Ariadne Labs in Harvard School of Public Health, and I'm also the executive director of ICONS. For those of you that uh, join our monthly meetings, you will recognize me, um, albeit not via Zoom or wearing my work pajamas. As far as housekeeping is concerned, uh, we do have a tight schedule to manage over the next two days. Uh, we have 13 projects presenting, and so what I ask is that presenters honor their time allocations. So if you have questions, you have a timer in the front, you can look to me and I'll let you know if you still have time, if you're out of time, or if you've overstayed your welcome and need to get out of the stage, please. Um, we also note that the doors behind the stage are the main entrance, and so they will be closed promptly at the time of presentations. So we do encourage you to monitor time outside. You hear the bells, get in here before the time is up. And, uh, and if you're late, there are stairs going up to the balcony upstairs. Uh, also, it's typed space, so we do encourage you to move to the middle of the, uh, the rows when you do sit down. And uh, drinks and uh, food are served on both levels, so when you do exit, uh, either door will take you to the top floor or to the bottom one. Uh, we do encourage you to move around and explore the space. Before we go much further, I do want to recognize and thank the teams that have helped plan and put this all together to begin with, with our co-hosts, uh, Genomics England. Thank you so much for everything that you've done in making this happen. Uh, also to the planning teams, Rose Hild, who is somewhere around here, and I'm sure most of you are very familiar with her at this point. Thank you so much. Dr. Holly Pei, Dr. David Bick, Dr. Robert Green, and Aaron Drake, and our partners at Genome Web. And I want to also give a special thanks and note to our sponsors, uh, for which none of this would be possible without them. Since the early days of the Human Genome Project, uh, we first, many foresaw days when genomic screening would one day be globally available at the start of life, where it could go from science to diagnosis to eventually prevention, where we can avoid harm and suffering that could come with things that are preventable. And over the next two days, you will see the trailblazers that are paving the path into what is viewed as potentially a paradigm shift in medicine. You will hear from thought leaders in newborn sequencing, public health, groundbreaking technologies. We will hear from a dozen projects around the world that are implementing newborn sequencing, everywhere from California to Europe, all the way to Australia. And we will explore topics from patient perspectives, ethics, equity, health policy, implementation science, and economics. The agenda will be found online at icons23.org. And note that the breaks here are intentionally long to encourage uh, networking and uh, socialization within the grounds. So, so for those of you online, you will no notice that the breaks are intentionally long. And without further ado, I will introduce our co-chairs, who will begin with a wel welcome remarks on behalf of ICONS. Dr. Robert Green is a medical geneticist and researcher at Harvard Medical School and Mass General Brigham, who is working to accelerate the implementation of preventive genomics in adults and newborns. He generated early data on genome sequencing outcomes and established a preventive genomics clinic in Boston, where he sees healthy adults and children patients. He is the PI of the NIH-funded BabySeq project, which he will tell you more about later today. And Dr. David Bick is board certified in pediatrics, clinical genetics, and clinical molecular genetics. His laboratories at the Medical College of Wisconsin and Children's Hospital of Wisconsin were the first in the world to offer whole genome sequencing as a clinical test, and he developed the first genomic medical clinic in the United States. Dr. Bick is a principal clinician for the Newborn Genomes Program at Genomics England. With that, gentlemen, I welcome you to the stage.